Well, the work is still underway to get all that snow off the roads. We're heading to the Brass City right now. Our Waterbury Bureau Chief, Dennis Valera, is live in the town, uh, the town uh, neighborhood right there. Dennis, a lot of private plowers in the city today out on the roads, right? Yeah, definitely, Mark. You know, one of the homes here behind me, it was being done by a guy named Luis Santiago, and he'd actually been working since 11 last night. Now, of course, that's on top of all the city crews and then the contracted crews that the city has had. Now, it's really, though, for Luis anyway, that it was all about helping people, which was really the theme in Waterbury today. Now, we're going to cut to some video of a moment we saw earlier of a woman getting stuck in a neighborhood. She was just driving through and she just got her car stuck. And then a couple of neighbors banded together to help dig her out so she can get back on her way. So for the most part, the city's crews and contractors have cleared up the roads pretty good, but there are some roads that are still in need of some clearing. And some folks say people are driving a little too hectic for the current road conditions. You have to watch out for these crazy people. They're, they're ridiculous out here. Nobody, they think because it's a snowstorm that they could just do what they want. And I make sure I know where everybody is. Yeah, just a reminder, there is a parking ban in the city. No parking in snow zones and no parking on the odd number side of streets. And of course, uh, I've been saying it every time we've been coming to Waterbury, anyone in need of help, anyone that still needs to get some snow out of their driveway or uh, their sidewalks, there is the emergency operations center in the city. It's staffed 24 seven. All you have to do is dial 311. We're live in Waterbury tonight. Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, that is some good information to have. Dennis, thank you very much. And with clean